Hello everyone and welcome to Data Visualization with Python. I'm Alex Ackelson, a data scientist at IBM, and I'm your instructor for this course. Throughout this course, we're going to learn how to create meaningful, effective, and aesthetically pleasing data visuals and plots in Python using matplotlib and a couple of other libraries, namely Seaborn and Folium. The course will consist of five modules. In Module 1, we will briefly discuss data visualization and some of the best practices to keep in mind when creating data visuals. We will then learn about matplotlib, its history, architecture, and the three layers that form its architecture. We will also learn about the data set that we will use throughout the course in these lectures, as well as the hands-on sessions. We will essentially be working with a data set that was curated by the United Nations on immigration from different countries to Canada from 1980 to 2013. Finally, we will look into line plots and learn how to use matplotlib to generate them. In Module 2, we will continue on with a few more basic data visualizations, such as area plots, histograms, and bar charts, and we will learn how to use matplotlib to create them and even create different versions of these plots. In Module 3, we will cover a set of specialized visualizations such as pie charts, box plots, scatter plots, and bubble plots, and we will learn how to create them still using matplotlib. In Module 4, we will learn about more advanced visuals such as waffle charts that provide a fine-grained view of proportions of different categories in a data set. We will also learn about word clouds that depict word frequency or importance in a body of text. Finally, in this module, we will explore another library, Seaborn, which is built on top of matplotlib to simplify the process of creating plots and visuals. And we will get a taste of its effectiveness through the creation of regression plots. Finally, in module 5, we will explore another library, Folium, which was built primarily to visualize geospatial data. So we will learn how to create maps of different regions of the world, superimpose markers of different shapes on top of the maps, and learn how to create choropleth maps. After completing this course, you will be able to use different visualization libraries in Python, namely matplotlib, seaborn, and folium, to create expressive visual representations of your data for different purposes. So let's get right into it. 